the cake thing isn't really working out, so I'm switching my focus to pizza. So I'm switching from cakes to pies. Pizza pies. It's had a pizza pie Tuesday. Oh, it doesn't have the same ring. So. How did they? Guys, I'm still learning. I'm used to rolling. Woo! Okay, I've got to approach this in another way. I'm coming back to how to cake it, but we're still making pizza. This week, I'm gonna make a pizza cake by baking vanilla cake in a pizza pan, and then I'm gonna recreate the crust using fondant, and I'm gonna make realistic toppings using buttercream and raspberry jam and modeling chocolate and candies. It's gonna be so good. I'm not doing an Italian accent. I'm not taking the risk of offending any Italian. If you want the full breakdown of ingredients, tools, and step-by-step -step instructions on how to make this cake, just head to my blog at howtocakeit.com or click the link in the description below. To make our pizza base, I'm baking cake in an actual pizza pan. This is a 16 inch round pizza pan and you really need to pay attention to the edges and grease it really well. So I'm just using some vegetable shortening. Just putting a little in the middle to help our parchment stay in place. Line it with a piece of parchment paper so that it doesn't stick to the pan. It would get all wrinkly at the lip because it curls up. That's why I'm choosing to grease the lip of the pan. So here I have my favorite vanilla cake recipe, which I whipped up and I'm gonna pour it directly into the pizza pan. You can make my vanilla cake recipe yourself. There's a link in the description below. I'm just giving my batter one final stir, making sure everything is evenly distributed. And then I'm gonna pour it into my pizza pan. So just spread your batter evenly, bring it right to the edge. Bake your pizza cake at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. Try and turn it every 10 minutes. Just keep an eye on it, look at it. Everybody's oven is different. And if you do have a convection oven like I do, keep the fan on low so that your batter doesn't blow out of your pan. Look how cool my pizza cake is. Literally, it's cool because it's been baked and completely cooled. So now what we wanna do is measure the area that would be our crust. So because this pan is 16 inches round, I have a 14 inch round pan. I'm just gonna lay it on top. And now I'm just gonna mark around this pan with a little sharp knife. I'm doing this because I wanna remove the caramelized skin from the top of the cake in the area where the pizza sauce will go. I'm just using the tip of my serrated knife really lightly. You can use a smaller one if you want. And you're just sort of removing this thin, pressed, caramelized bit of cake that's on the top. And if you don't have a 14 inch pan, don't worry. Just leave about a one inch border all the way around and it doesn't have to be a perfect line. Okay, here you have it. I know it looks like a crust already, but I'm gonna take this up a notch. First, I'm gonna brush a little clear piping gel onto the crusty part of our pizza. This will help our fondant stick to this area of the cake. Doesn't add any flavor, it's just a little bit sweet, but really we're using it as a glue. Today I'm using Wilton clear piping gel. I bought this at Michael's, I'm sure lots of places sell it, or you can click the link in the description below and buy it yourself. Time to make our fondant crust. And I'm just rolling out a tube of fondant. I love this new focus of doing pizza cakes. Look at my tube, it's not even even, and I don't even care. I'm gonna just press this out a little with my, just with my fingers. If you have a smaller table, you can absolutely do this in smaller pieces because you won't really see the seams. So let's place our fondant on the cake. Press it down, press it over, just to cover all of the edge of the batter, anything that came over, and bring it right to the edge here. It's supposed to look like a pizza crust. Thicker in some areas, bubbling up in some areas, and then I'm going to roll another tube to finish this off. At the seams where the two tubes of fondant meet, just smooth them into each other. Don't worry about it too much because what we're gonna do after is really gonna correct that. Here we go. 
We got our pizza crust. My crust looks beautiful, but it doesn't look well done enough for me. I like my crust well done. We need to cook this pizza, and how do we cook on how to cake it? With a torch. Because fondant is so high in sugar, it caramelizes and creates a brown surface, which is exactly what I'm looking for. You know what? This torch is actually burning my cake a little. So I think I'm gonna put my cake pan back on top just to create a barrier. Don't put parchment or any kind of paper because that will go up in smoke. You will see a little bit of smoke rising. You'll really see the fondant bubbling because there's so much sugar, but it's all right. You know how when you get a pizza, one part is done more than the other. It never looks perfectly even. Keep that in mind. Be careful when removing your metal pen. If you did use one, it is metal, it retains heat. So use an oven mitt to pull it off your pizza. If you have any little burnt cake, you can just cut that away and remove that before we add our sauce and our toppings. For my pizza sauce, I really tried to think of what would make the best looking sauce. So here's what I came up with, mixing red buttercream with some raspberry jam. I chose raspberry because it comes seedless and I figure it needs a little bit of tartness against all the sweet. I like the consistency, but it's not quite red enough for me. I feel like I need to add some food coloring to this sauce. Oh, this looks awesome! It looks so rich! It's like a rich, thick sauce. Every great pizza needs not just a great sauce, but great toppings. This is a dried fruit snack that my son loves. It's actually a President's Choice Organics. These ones are strawberry, and I love it because they look like meat. I wanna roll it out a little bit thinner if I can. And then I'm gonna cut circles like pepperoni. And then all you need is a cutter. This is about one and a half inches to cut your rounds. There we go. You know what else I like on my pizza? I like green peppers. I'm using wine gums, which I love. I only bought green. I think I need to cut these wine gums in half. And I'm gonna cut all of my green peppers. Who did you see that? These are also dried fruit snacks. I think they're strawberry and mango. Again, they're President's Choice Organics. I saw these and I was like, whoa, totally looks like bacon. How should I cut this to maintain the bacony effect? For my olives, I found black licorice. And I think what I'm gonna do is cut it into little rounds and then use this number 12 piping tip to cut out the hole. I can't wait to throw all of these toppings onto my pizza cake. I'm gonna clean up and grab my pizza because it's time to top it off. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. My pizza is all cooled off. I'm going to put a little bit of simple syrup on the cake. Try and avoid the crust, don't wet the crust. And then, I'm gonna add my sauce. Just take your sauce, guide it out to the edge to meet your crust. I'm using a little offset spatula. I got my crust, I got my sauce, it's time for cheese. I made some modeling chocolate and I rolled it into balls like mozzarella. Oh look, this was my crust test. I tested burning fondant before I did it for all of you. I did it on Snapchat. If you don't follow me, my handle is right here. I put up a lot of behind the scenes, how to cake it action. It's exciting. So, I made some modeling chocolate. White chocolate, corn syrup. You should actually save it in the fridge. Put it in the fridge so it's nice and cold so you can actually grate it. A lot of you are kind enough to make comments about how fit I am even though I make cake and it's because of exercise like this. Grating modeling chocolate keeps you fit. I should do an exercise video just of caking activities. <laughs> I'm gonna start to put some of my cheese on my pizza. You can make it as cheesy as you like it. It's your pizza. 
This is a double cheese meat pizza. This is freaking me out. This totally looks like pizza. Gotta get my blowtorch. Of course, we're melting the cheese on the pizza. That's the best part, when you cut it and it's oozy. Blowtorch. Hi, old friend. Apparently, I don't remember how to use you. You wanna hold your blowtorch farther away than you did for the crust, and I'm gonna keep it a bit lower. I don't wanna brown it as much, but I wanna melt it. My cheese is nice and melted. I'm gonna get my toppings, and I'm gonna top this baby. You wanna do this while your cheese is still hot so that it will help your other toppings stick to your pizza. I definitely need more cheese on this pizza. What a strange instrument. I don't want to, I'm just gonna do it sparingly. I don't want to cover my beautiful toppings. I really just did that so I could use my blowtorch one last time. I'm gonna put it on really low. I don't want to melt my candies or any of my beautiful toppings. I just want to melt this extra cheese. I'm gonna pretend that these squares of pure white chocolate are freshly grated Parmigiano imported from Italy. So just grate it the same way we grated our modeling chocolate. It will just come out a little bit finer and we're not gonna melt this. Woo! Time to set the table. Mamma mia, I got the pizza here for you, huh? Come in, have a slice. Whenever I have pizza here in Toronto, I have Pizzaville. It's my favorite. I love their commercials, actually. I wish that all of you could hear it. It goes, it was a rainy day in Pizzaville. Come to Canada, have Pizzaville, and have pizza cake with me. I know this looks like a pizza, but remember, this is vanilla cake with a brulee fondant crust. My sauce is raspberry jam mixed with red buttercream. I've got salami and bacon made from dried fruit snacks. I've got my green peppers made from wine gums and my olives made out of licorice. And my fresh grated Parmigiano is just straight up white chocolate. When the moon hits your eye. That doesn't even sound like me. Who's <laughs> singing? When the No. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing the sound of music version. Hold on. When the moon hits your eye. <laughs> and the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie that's amore. <laughs> <laughs> I have never cut a cake with a pizza wheel. I learned so much on how to cake it. I have had a wonderful day today. You guys don't know it, but we did have Pizzaville pizza for lunch, and now I'm having how to cake a pizza for dessert. I totally expected it to taste like pizza. Come back next week, next Tuesday. There'll be no pizza left though.